Welcome back, guys. This is AG. You're watching Math to the Max. Today we will solve quadratics graphically with Desmos. The solutions to a quadratic is called roots, zeros, and x intercepts. So, pretty much, they may say solve the quadratic and they want to know where it crosses the x axis. Know how to identify a point on the x axis is going to be some number, comma, zero. All right, know how to round numbers. Round and round we go. All right, let's look at our rounding to the nearest tenth, hundreds, and thousands. So when you round to the nearest tenth, you look at the second digit, which is a five. If it's a five, six, seven, eight, or nine, you round it up. So it's going to round to 5.9. Hundred is two decimals. So two decimals is 41, but you look at the next digit, which is a three, you round down. So if it's a four, three, two, one, or zero, it's going to stay the same. So 2.41 is our answer. Nearest thousand, three decimals. One, nine, nine, but the next number is a eight. So you have to round it up. So the answer would be 12 and 200 thousands. Okay, so what's the process? Make sure it's in standard form. AX squared plus BX plus C equals zero. You're going to type in the expression, not the equal to zero part, into Desmos. And you see where it crosses the X axis. We're going to have two solutions, one solution, or no solution. Look at this example for two solutions. Two solutions, why? Because it's going to cross at those two spots. You're only going to give me the X answer. All right, one solution crosses at one spot but you're going to only give me the x solution and no solutions because it doesn't cross that means it's imaginary when we do our quadratic formula if you were to do it the long way all right let's go to work put these problems in standard form first and then we can graph them in desmos so pause the video to see if you can do that Okay, let's type in number one. You should have your equation written down. Don't type in the equal sign with the zero, only the expression. So you see I'm typing it using the keyboard from Desmos. Once you have it typed, you look and see where it crosses the X axis. You can zoom in and zoom out and click the points. You see your decimals. And then you will read the directions and see if it's a round to the nearest tenth, hundreds, or thousands. All right, so you can clear it out and type in number two. And number two was x squared minus five x plus eight. Now look, do you see it crossing the x axis anywhere? No, so you're gonna say that there is no solution and there's actually a solution, it's just imaginary. So if you want to get the imaginary solution, you would actually have to do the quadratic formula. Now, when I'm typing in the problems, I actually use my keyboard on my laptop or desktop, but you can actually use it on the desk most is your choice. It's just quicker for me on the laptop, but I'm just showing you the keyboard on desk most. So you type in our third problem, 3x squared plus 10x plus seven. All right, zoom in so I can see exactly where they cross and click the points. Those are the solutions to the quadratic. Negative 2.3. And negative one you remember it's only the x value guys the x value all 
All right, for the last example, the problem is 4x squared minus 4x plus 1. I only see one solution, so it crosses at 0 0.5. I'm showing you a little trick. If you want to change it to a fraction, you will click that little circle to the left and it will change to a fraction right here, one half. All right, guys, we made it to the finish line. So now you can solve a quadratic equation without actually doing the quadratic formula, unless it's an imaginary, you have to do it. Hope this was helpful. Please subscribe, share, and like. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time, always striving for excellence and reaching for success.